leaders whoop it up over the passage of the bonus bill by the House and thank Congressman Patman, Vinson, and McCormick, who have been leading the fight in Washington for adjusted compensation. Happy days are here again. The overwhelming vote, 355 for its passage and 58 against, augurs well towards the enactment of the legislation. Shades of Prohibition. There's a real unicorn, and it's alive, too. Dr. Franklin Dove, biologist at the University of Maine, caused this strange specimen to grow that way by a novel surgical operation when it was a calf. And true to tradition, the Maine unicorn is just as ferocious as the fighting unicorns of ancient legend. We are fighting, fighting to save a great and precious form of government for ourselves and for the world. And so I accept the commission you have tendered me. I join with you. I am enlisted for the duration of the war. New York, I extend you greetings and best wishes and welcome you back home. I know everyone in America is happy to see you and wish you every good wish and success. Thank Ms. Owens, much, same thing to you. Thank you. What about your uh, suspension? Well, my suspension, I really don't, can't say much about it because I was tired. I wanted to come home and I really did. After all, I haven't seen my wife for three months and I'm very glad to be back home to see her. The great Spanish port of Barcelona is one of the important strongholds of the Loyalists in the present revolt. Although foreign warships haunt the harbor, the city itself is relatively quiet now. Shattered windows in the famous Hotel Colon and in other buildings attest to the turmoil of the early days of the uprising. And in the great bull ring are to be seen many cars wrecked during the hectic start of the struggle. One exploded with a load of dynamite, taking four lives. The local headquarters of the Marxist Union is a beehive of activity, with a steady stream of militiamen reporting for duty. New recruits are being rapidly armed and sent to the active fronts by the trainload. Howard Hughes, wealthy sportsman, is having lunch at the Municipal Airport, Chicago, and he's wagered that he'll eat dinner in Los Angeles, 1,837 miles away. So, at 2.05 Eastern Standard Time, he takes his all-metal speed craft into the air for a record race against time and appetite. Hughes holds the world's land speed title of 352 miles an hour, so there's little chance that he'll go hungry tonight. 